episode number 14 of Tex Nation TV. Welcome back. My name is Rusty G. I'm Alan. And we got some news that we have missed oh, quite a lot, actually. But we won't hit them all. Yeah. But just the most recent news, because that's what you need to know about. So this past week, a huge, huge, actually two big, huge announcements. But one yeah. I think is bigger. Uh, Google is now going to be buying and acquiring Motorola Mobility. Yep. That is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You remember the big brick phone that Zach carried around in the 80s? You know, <laughs> that big thing? That was a Motorola phone. Remember the Razor you used to have that everybody had? It was a Motorola phone. Well, it's not going to be a Motorola anymore. Nope. Those droids that you have, those aren't going to be around. It's going to be a Google thing. Throw them in the garbage. Exactly. Now they're going to be running Chrome. <laughs> And, and the, the crazy thing about it is, it was like $12.5 billion that they... Billion. Yeah, $12.5 billion that they put out for Motorola Mobility. Yeah. But the big thing is, what's kind of hidden in the background is the patents. All the patents Motorola <laughs> has from... Yeah, exactly. Back when Google, the people who worked for Google, wasn't even born yet. Exactly. There's like 17 million of these patents sitting around, and hopefully Google seems to think, uh, Sergey Ben and those guys, the CEOs, seem to think that hopefully this will clear up some of those patent wars that are going on right now. Because hey, that, that's normal. <laughs> exactly. Because the big thing right now is, you know, a few months back you wake up and every day you hear about somebody getting hacked by LawSec yep. and anti, you know, all them groups. Now you wake up every day and all you hear is about some, somebody suing somebody for another patent. Yep. And I'm so sick of it. It's just ridiculous. They're all going after the iPhone. Just shut up, Apple. They all love you, so shut your face. And we're just trying to copy. I'm just trying to say. But that's a huge, big announcement. You know, that was crazy when we heard it. I was like, I'm sorry, but go back. What? Google is buying Motorola? Well, so, you know, Google, we know Google's been in the market for some mobility. Yeah. Something. Um, I thought it was going to be Sprint myself. Okay. But I just don't see it going that way. But yeah. the other thought, though, is um, Motorola also does a lot of, if you're a Comcast or a charter person, any of those cable companies, they do those set-top boxes. Yeah, my AT&T uh, DSL box is Motorola. Yeah. Uh, you know what else Google does? Google TV. You know what else so far has failed? Google, Google TV. <laughs> but if Motorola can, you know rebrand itself with Google stock and put Google on it and there in your set top box. Yeah, assume that like they're gonna work with Comcast and Exactly. And we're so, just gonna see Google everywhere. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. But and the second big announcement was HP is selling off WebOS. That's right. The guys who make this awesome computer that I just got by the way, brand new computer. It took me forever and that's the reason why we haven't had the episodes. <laughs> uh, finally got a new computer. But anyway, uh, they're selling off their division of WebOS stuff. Yep. I don't know if it's the whole computer division. I'm not real clear on the details. Um, but basically, all the WebOS devices are going to go away. Because it was less than a year ago that they bought Palm. Yeah, what was the point of that then? Uh, Just to get them out of the way. Hey, we bought you. Cry up. There's, there's an article I read somewhere. Uh, the CEO that is not now, but the CEO that was six months ago, mm -hmm. uh, that was his thing. That was what he wanted. He went and bought it. That's what it was. Now the new CEO's in, he's like, you know what, we're done. Nope, yeah. that, that guy's out, now it's my turn. So there's a new CEO in town. He's basically the new sheriff. He wants to just do away with the WebOS stuff. And then what's bad is <laughs> the touchpad, it was on market, get this, 49 days. That is ridiculous, 49 <laughs> days on the market. I remember reading that story last week, Thursday, Best Buy was like, please, dear God, come buy these things back. They suck, nobody's buying them. Yeah, remember we were at Best Buy this long ago. There's just stacks of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What's funny, though, is one item did beat it, though. The Microsoft Kin. If you remember the Microsoft Kin cell phone. Exactly. The Microsoft Kin cell phone. It was... I do remember it. It was this big. Yeah. I actually had a friend of mine who bought one, and I told him, I said, dude, stay away. And he bought it anyway. But whatever. That's fine. It was on sale for 48 days. So... There's your number one and number two as the shortest life lived of a gadget. But, hey, you know, whatever. Yeah. So what ended up happening was last Thursday, like I said, Best Buy was like, hey, come buy your crap. They're not selling. Mm -hmm. Friday kind of just hovered around, blah, 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 blah. And they were like, all right, yeah, we're going to sell. So Saturday comes around, and they're like, oh, by the way, we got this thing. It's called a fire sale, <laughs> and we're going to get rid of everything. This is what we're going to do. 
You can buy the HP touchpad, the 16 gig for $99. You can buy the 32 gig for $50 more than 149. I said, I'm sorry, what? 149 for 32 gigs. Exactly. I, this 32 gig <laughs> iPad is over $700. Exactly. Exactly. So I was, I was, I got, I, I kind of slept in a little late Saturday morning, didn't get up till around 11. So by the time I was up, they were already gone. I went over to Best Buy. They were like, oh, we don't have any more, or we don't have them. And I finally got one to talk to him, and he said, uh, well, we're, we can't sell them. They were taken off the shelf. We have to ship them back to HP. And I was like, you suck. That means you have them in the back and you just won't sell them. You suck. So then I'm like holding them for themselves. Exactly. I drove around to like three Best Buys. I called every Best Buy within like a 200 mile radius around. I was looking for one because I wanted one. I get home. I'm mad because no Best Buy has them. Then I get home and everybody's like, didn't you check Walmart? And I was like, no, I hate Walmart. Yeah. Exactly. So. I was like, well, I can call around and check. Did the same thing. Called around to every Walmart in a 200 mile radius. Nothing. But the third operator I got, she finally said, are you calling for the HP touchpad? We've been instructed to tell everyone we are out of sale. You know, they're out of stock. So like by the fourth or fifth one, they were just like, HP touchpad electronics? No, nope, we don't have them clicked. Just hang up on me. So I spent my entire weekend looking for it. Sunday comes around. Sunday comes around. And guess who has an HP touchpad. Freaking Best Buy. <laughs> 10 o'clock in the morning, they're gonna start their sale. We're gonna sell you an HP touchpad for the same exact price. What? Again, I slept in, because I go out Saturday night. But anyway, ah! So, if you can find a touchpad, I will buy it from you, but for the $99, not an inflated $200. Check list. Yeah, there might be something somewhere. You, you never Hold know. Hold list of them. Yeah, so yeah, that was my weekend. It was ridiculous. Because the other thing I, I heard was looking around, everybody's like, what are you going to do with your touchpad? What are you going to do with your touchpad? Because it's going to, you know, not be useful anymore. Some people are going to apparently, I think the Android community is porting over so that you can put the Android uh, operating system onto the touchpad. I yeah. think uh, because it's PC based, it might actually get uh, Windows 8 or whatever slate version they have, whatever it may have. Yeah, you can put whatever you want on it. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's yours. HP doesn't care anymore. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Good job on the last, you know, 5,000 touchpads that you had out there. You sold them all in one weekend. That was great. You should have done it a long time ago. Either way, speaking of sales, Best Buy also, today and today only, so by the time you're watching this, it's, it's over. It's gone. Yeah. iPhone 3GS. Two-year-old phone. How much? It's freaking free with two-year contract. <laughs> Kind of sucks. Um, it's a two-year-old phone. Yeah. And we're about to get iPhone 5. As so said, they're, they're going to be pushing them out cheaper and cheaper. Oh, yeah. As said by an AT&T AT &T exec earlier this month, uh, early October. So we must, be, we must be getting close if they're pushing the 3GS free. Yeah. Because AT&T did have them for $49. Bucks. We knew something was brewing there. Now free, yeah. This phone... <laughs> should be coming out soon. Yeah, uh, if if you if you're one of those that doesn't have to have the latest and greatest, and you don't care, you just want a phone that works, and but you kind of want smartphone and you don't want to go flip phone. Eh, you got the 3GS. Yeah. Uh, you know, by the time you're watching this, it won't be free. It'll be probably back up at forty nine dollars. But who cares? Forty nine bucks. Eh, it's it's a good sale. So I recommend it if if you're watching this video on time, but other than that, no, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, but speaking of Apple, I hate that we always talk about Apple, but this kind of made me happy. We're a tech show. Exactly. Um, this kind of made me happy. You know all the patent wars we were talking about, yep. and one of the big things is Apple and Samsung. Mm -hmm. They're having patent wars yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> As you can see. Exactly. This one is taller. <laughs> the problem with Samsung was theirs was skinnier and longer. Mm -hmm. Apple couldn't deal with that. Apple photoshopped it and made it exact same size as the iPad and put it up as evidence in their arguments. And they won. They had their ban in Europe and Germany and yeah. you know all over the world and except for the United States, obviously, because we wouldn't let that happen. No. But come to find out, someone busted them on it. So there's not only the Samsung Galaxy tabs, but the Samsung Galaxy phone. I don't, I can't remember the phone, but 
but they showed, you know, in ratio wise, they were like, look, this is the actual phone. This is their actual phone. It's two completely different things. Software might look the same, yeah. but you know, it's two completely different things. So I'm kind of glad somebody busted them on it. I, I really am because I get so sick of the Apple turds that are out there and you know who you are. There's three of you I can name off right now that kind of take me off. But even this guy here, he, he, he has a Mac, he's got the iPhone, he's got an iPad, but he's not a douchebag about it. I Maybe. appreciate that, Rusty. <laughs> me and the company. <laughs> you said the company. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm just glad someone got there and busted them for it and just shows them exactly what's going on because, you know, look, Apple isn't the whole world, even though yeah. every time I open up my news feed, 75% of the news I'm reading is Apple news. So, yeah. you know, I, I kind of get sick of it. You know, I do like the Apple iPhone, but as you can see, I'm still doing the PC thing because it's it's still a great machine. So, anything else? We got anything else? I think that's it. Oh, no. Uh, no. Okay. All right. Well, that's it for this week's edition. Oh, um, good job on last week's episode. Thank you very much. If you appreciate you it. chance to see it, uh, be sure to check it out. Interview Jessica Murphy. Murray. Murray. Sorry, I was listening to Eddie Murphy earlier. Not even here or there. But yeah, good job. How, um, how'd that go? That went great, actually. Uh, we went downtown, met up with uh, Jessica Murray in the Designathon 2011. Got to see what they, you know, sit and do. Basically, it's helping out a company that is a nonprofit. Okay. Uh, last year, it was for kids who were in, uh, their parents were being incarcerated, and they there's statistics that show. That if their parents are incarcerated somewhere down the line they may be incarcerated just because and so okay. they focus on the good side of doing things mm -hmm. as far as actually doing but as far as website marketing things like that they didn't that wasn't their strong point so last year that's what they did they built them a new website gave them a whole new logo rebranded basically so is that right. what the design and design -a -thon is yep and this year is a little bit different they are doing safe haven homes i believe correct me if i'm wrong i'll put it up on the notes uh, but they were doing safe haven homes and families or something like that. Mm -hmm. And same thing for them. They were doing a whole new redesign for them. So uh, by this time, it should be up now. You should be able to go check it out. You can check out, make sure you follow the tweets. Uh, it's hashtag designathon BNA2011. There was a few more. Uh, Jessica and I kind of went back and forth about yeah. that on the last episode. So go back and watch that. Um, but like I said, you can also follow Jessica Murray at Jessica R. Murray. Um, and like I said, they're supposed to be here next year. Uh, after watching the interview over again, I think she said it might even be in Chicago. So I don't know if it's going to be here in Nashville or not. But okay. still, uh, we'll be back next year and watch her again. Uh, we still have more interviews coming up. We got G, uh, G off. We've got Jeff Smith coming up. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still trying to work with him. Uh, you've got the guy for Smart Fuel, Patrick. Maybe. Maybe. The other guy moved to San Francisco. Okay. But Patrick's still here. Patrick's right? still here. Maybe yeah, Patrick's that. still here. We see him. At, I see him every Saturday night. He's got a party going on downtown all the time. <laughs> so we'll see if we can get him in. Uh, and if you've got anybody that you know here in Nashville that does something tech, let us know. We want to interview them. Make sure you can just follow us online. You can always find it's us. Free advertisement for and, you. Exactly. It's it's only forty to fifty viewers, but hey, we're getting our name out there as well as getting your name out there. So it's free advertising. So make sure you follow us youtube.com slash TV. you can find us online at textnation.tv you can follow us on twitter twitter.com slash TV. one thing you cannot find is facebook.com slash TV because we need five more people to like us five that's all we need we're sitting at 20 so if you know any of your friends who are into tech please tell them to come like the page or their accounts open on their phone exactly just search like Tech Nation TV, like the page. They'll never even know. Ask the people who like us now. We don't really spam that much. <laughs> and we actually we don't really spam at all. Yeah. But we don't really use it that much because we don't have as much out there. So just make sure to follow us online any way that you can. And you can find me at, at Rusty G. You're just find him through me. It's hard finding him, so just come to my page first. So anyway, we'll see you again next week for episode 15. And maybe next time we'll get to be talking about more acquisitions. We'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah. Money, money, money.